So we're over here at Banks, Banks Performance, and this has been a very controversial topic. So I'm actually gonna get Jay from Banks, and he's gonna tell us the differences between Banks diff cover and your aftermarket uh, diff covers, and uh, kind of talk about how it needs to be deceiving and why Banks came up with this design and how they're more effective. We're with Jay from Banks, and he's gonna tell us why. I should go with banks and not with uh, other aftermarket companies. Well, so here's what we're looking at. Um, about a year and a half ago, uh, we wanted, we thought about doing a div cover, but we weren't sure if it was an actual performance modification. Right. So we went out. The first thing we did is bought all the competition. So we bought, bought your Mag High Tech, your ATS, all these other brands that were flat, right? And we put it up on a truck. And Gail Banks, uh, the guy who owns the company, and it's our head of uh, R&D and everything else, he asked the question on YouTube and said. Do these covers do anything, or are they, or are they just bling, right? And we took a year and a half and we did all of this research to find out what these flat back covers were doing. And flash forward to today with our announcement, we are unveiling our cover and we have improved upon all of these flat back covers. So what we found is that if you're, if you're rolling with a flat back cover, you're losing 1.5% fuel economy. Wow. That's enough to buy two mag high techs every 100,000 miles. And it costs you more to fill it because we have four quarts in ours, they have eight quarts in theirs. Yeah. So not only did you lose fuel economy, but it costs you more to lose that fuel economy. And I'll explain to you why. Okay. So if you come over here, so what we found, this is your standard flat back cover, right? Right. All right. If you look at the graphic, what's happening over here, I don't know how this is gonna come out on camera. It comes up pretty good. Okay, great. So, that looks pretty normal if I cover up that part of the cover. The oil goes over the ring and pinion, some oil goes over there as you'd expect. But what happens when that oil at 50 miles an hour, this, this ring you're spinning, what happens when that oil hits the back of the cover? It's like a fire hose at a block wall. You're aerating the oil. It's like, it's like cake batter. So that aerated oil now goes over to your ring and pinion and there, you don't want air in your oil. Right, so that's the first problem. You have a lot of aeration. Aeration works the oil, it heats it, it degrades the it degrades the oil. So that's not good. That the whole reason you have oil there is to lubricate that interface between your your, your, inter, your uh, pinion and ring gear. And so now your oil has the, it, so that's all bad, right? So we solve that in our cover by honoring the factory curvature right here. This is our cover. So we have a ring gear raceway. It takes the oil up and over without any air in it. Okay, so we solved that, that's done. But then we discovered that there is a massive dead air zone behind your differential. So at 55 miles an hour on the freeway, we had a little anemometer. Anemometer is a little air speed, it looks like a little fan. And we put one in front of the differential and one in behind. And at 55 miles an hour, the one in front was doing 32 miles an hour of air speed. And the one behind the differential was only seeing 11 miles per hour of air speed. That means that there's this huge dead air zone. No matter how good you make that differential cover, it's not being cooled because there's no air. So how do we solve that? Look down here and you'll see ram air scoops. These ram air scoops come over this way. There's the back side of the ram air scoop. Air is going into these scoops and it's being channeled up through the fins, cooling it. So what does that mean? We are out cooling the flatback guys by five times. Five times. And we cost you less to cool it better, you know, because it's less oil. Of course, just like all the other guys, we have a fill port and a drain plug, but we also have a sight glass. And the sight glass, as I'll take you over and see our blingy red one over here. Come on over here. This, there you go. So the sight glass here, as we it spins around here, let me hold it. The sight glass is right at the four quart factory fill mark. We're honoring the factory four quart oh, fill. Oh wow, okay, I like right? that. So as long as you, to look, to see, hey, how's my oil? Just go down, look, oh, we're good. You don't have to pull a dipstick, you don't have to look at a weep hole or any of that stuff. So we solved everything for you. And for guys that they, they're like, you know, every once in a while I take my full size truck off road, I'm pulling the trailer and I'll hit a stump. Well, I, what happens if I hit this thing? Well, these are made to break off. If you look close, there are shear points right here, and you can break this off if you were to hit something without affecting the cover. Okay. So these these Ram Air scoops will break off and save the rest of it. And it's got a lifetime warranty, so if you do happen oh, to break perfect. one, okay. we'll just send you another one. Nice. So we've solved all the problems 
that nobody knew existed with the Mag High Tech or any of the other brands. I don't even think that's something that anybody's ever questioned. No one has. They've been around since like the late 80s or early 90s. They've sold, I don't know how many. All the other brands have copied them and they've only made one claim, which was we cool by 25 to 50 degrees. Well, which is, they do take longer to warm up, so if that's what you consider cooling, but once they're warm, they take a lot longer to cool down. So we manage the heat better and we reject the heat a lot better. All the surface area inside, all the surface area outside cools five times faster than any of the other guys. It's rad and you can buy one now. How much are they? Uh, 395, uh, 385 for the raw one so you can custom coat it or 395 for black and machined ribs. Okay, so you guys don't sell them already kind of powder coated? No, no. Okay. These are all going to be custom coated by you because okay, cool. I, 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 I don't know how to match your paint on your right, truck. That, but true. for a lot of guys who just have bone stock trucks, which is probably most of the audience, right. uh, bone stock trucks will just buy the black and machined ones, bolt it on and call it a day. Uh, you came over to me and you're looking for one of these things. What what are you what are you rolling right now? You've got an LOY, yeah, right? I got an LOY and an LML. LOY okay. is bone stock right now. I bought it just like two weeks ago. It's a brand new build for the channel. Nice. LML is pretty much finished. I just got to put a flog uh, industry bumper on it. Okay. Uh, I talked to the guys over there and they said that they're going to send it out. Uh, I told them to hold it. Are you going to let us be part of this build? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, hell yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Those will fit. They'll bolt right up. This is this is your cover right here. This is the bolt pattern and everything. So it's basically 01 to 18 uh, Ram and GM, 2500 and 3500. Perfect. So I, I got one for you. Awesome. Can I take this one? No, no, oh, don't yeah. touch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So that was actually very informative. I, I mean, I've seen videos on YouTube of Mr. Gail Banks, who is right there, uh, talking about why uh, the your square aftermarket diff covers are not as effective as you would think they are because I mean they're mainly more for looks but now that I've talked to Jay and uh, he's explained everything it, it I mean it, it all makes sense so I'm actually really excited to have banks as part of my build uh, part of part of the part of both of my builds and I mean it's gonna look good because my diff covers need to be uh, either repainted or honestly going with the banks will look so much better so huge shout out to banks for the information and also wanting to be uh, part of the build so thank you guys so much Alright guys, you guys may recognize this logo. Can you introduce yourself? Chad with C4 Off-Road, guys. Alright, so today what we're going to do is C4 Off-Road has provided uh, rock lights for some of these builds here at SEMA. So we're going to go check out some of these builds that uh, have C4 Off-Road lighting. And the first one is a 2020 Duramax we have right here. Uh, you guys know that I'm actually a huge fan of the 2020. So. Chad, please do a walk around of this uh, truck because you know exactly what's yeah. done to it. So this is a 2020 uh, Denali uh, built by uh, Juan over at Performance Off-Road out of Bakersfield, California. They've got the TIS 24-inch uh, forged wheels uh, with the FTS, I think it's a 10-12 kit. Got the chrome shocks, uh, polished drive line, uh, chrome differential covers, uh, color matched steps. I think it's pretty cra crazy on the scene, color matched steps. Color matched um, mirrors. Right here in the top uh, fender well, that is going to be the RGBW Landline Plus. So that way it's got the true white in it and everything like that. And then you can see the front end over here. The road armor bumpers with the Royal Decor grill. Oh, that color matches. Yeah, it's just turned out good. That nice copper with the chrome underneath. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can just see that the attention to detail work is just immaculate. FTS is killing it with these 2020s. Oh yeah, definitely. So yeah, well, let's go try to take a look at some more. I know it's got rigid. It's got rigid, but it comes with the comes with the bumpers and stuff. So really blind somebody with those. Yeah, it's a beautiful truck. Very beautiful truck. Let's go take a look at uh, another vehicle with some C4 rock lights. Alrighty, so we got a second one. So this one right here, uh, I think it's a GMC. 
you can actually see under here where this one's actually running our wheel rings. Okay, nice. So that's that's how they install on the wheel rings. They go into the dust covers. Excuse me. And so uh, it's a pretty clean truck. Real quick. Yeah. I'll probably go to for you. Everything's waterproof and tight. So either way, you can run the wires all the way up to the brain, or you can run them across, and we give you a wide. So you can either wind together anywhere in the truck or wind them up at the brain. So it kind of gives you a little bit more options to do whatever you need to do. That That's actually awesome because I don't know if you guys ever order like rock lights or wheel lights, and you just your wires are just too short, and you have to put the control box like under the truck and like put it in the frame somewhere. I've had to do that on plenty of my rock lights before. And uh, this is, I mean. It's a plug and play kit with yeah. all the extra wires. We, yeah. we wanted to make this kit to where you buy it roughly around two, $210, which I feel is a very fair price for what you're getting. Yeah. It's for wheel lights, that's not bad. Not bad at all, and it comes with all the stuff. So you're ready to rock and roll, and install exactly. it. Just takes a little time to get all the, the wires. Not a bad deal. Alrighty, next vehicle. Does this have rock lights too? No, this one doesn't, but the one right across from it does. All right. This thing's a, a panda. This, yeah, this thing's a beast. Yeah, I think I've seen this on Instagram. Yeah. So he's got he's got rock lights here, oh, here, that's awesome. here, here. They're all over this thing. Wow, that's a good idea. Yeah. You get right on there. Okay. Well, uh, I might be doing that when <laughs> I get back. Well, and two, uh, he didn't do it. I think there's some of them do like uh, they'll cut the holes out yeah. and pop them through the backside. So, or actually, we can go look at one of the trucks over here. So kind of like Rhinos, too. where it's flush. Yeah. See, I don't mind it sticking I, out a little bit, to be honest. It's kind of a, a thing. Mine have always stuck out. I think he tucked them right here. Okay, nice. Okay, but this one's he tucked them way up in there. Okay. But that way he can highlight, and I know there's some all underneath the middle and stuff. But very clean build. Big wheels. Yeah. What are these? Twenty eight thirties. Charged? Really? Yeah. See the big intercooler right here? Ah. If it's running 42s, I, I hope it's got some performance mods. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a big truck. We'll go over here and look at another one. This way, that way. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Sorry, brother. Next, Jack. <laughs> Come nice on, to bro. see you, dude. Yeah. Jeez, it's been a minute. Man. I think it's been a year. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's uh, almost well, actually a little a year and a week. It's a, it's a Ram. Yeah, it's a Ram. Big, big Ram. Big, <laughs> yeah. So he's got the, the IEDs right here in the fender well, three of them. And actually, once you look at that, we oh, got it. That one's smaller than mine. Ooh. So here's a really cool little oh, bracket he actually did. Yeah. Uh, I think it's right here somewhere. It's right here. Right there. Oh, we'll yeah, he did like a little tripod deal. Let me see if I can. Oh, there it is. Oh, so, wow. So he kind of gets the, the angle oh, all over. right there. That's cool. Which I thought was kind of a cool. Oh, that's really cool. And he made that? Yeah, he did that himself. Oh, I mean, Which, that, that really shows yeah, off that. All the members and everything yeah, like that. That's, that's kind of what I did to show off my boys. Yeah. I have two that shines down. And I actually kind of took that idea for myself for other, for other installs, for other people. Is That's kind of a cool idea to kind of spread it out and get more of the, the clearance out of it. And then he's got the big train horns and everything back here. You can see, like, he's cut them, reverse cut them in, so they're kind of a flusher mount. Oh, okay, so it's not smaller than mine, it's just no. that he's got, he's got it flushed. Yep, so what's nice about this way, too, is when you pull these fenders out and you cut them that way, when you put the fenders back in, they also hold up in there tight, so they don't want to pull out, or, you know, it's a little bit easier to install. Bodyguard bumpers, gin hitch, and if I remember like, right, this actually lights up at night. So, yep, yeah, very, very cool truck, and actually we can go right over here to one more of like this wrap job yeah is just killer i mean it looks like actual rust i mean like 
This truck is all over Instagram. Yes. That rust I mean, I think it was all over Instagram before he had this. The airlift. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's it's crazy. These big old airbags, all the rust and like the shocks, like the wrapping is perfect. That's cool. And then he's got the IEDs up in the fender wells. There you go. But I mean, this truck makes you feel like it's actually rusted truck. Right. That's actually really smart because if it actually, some parts, if they are rusted, you could just leave it rusted. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, like all the bracketry and all the all the work. I mean, there's oh, wow. there's there's a lot of love in the truck. We got the big old stacks coming through the bed. That stacks look so cool sometimes. Yeah. I don't always like them, but some trucks. I they think look really it's got to have that right look. Right. I agree. Didn't you have um, wider wheels before? I can't remember. I know he had another company and then uh, TIS. Uh, got with him. He was at a car show, starting to show off the truck more, and they got with him, and they asked to switch over and bring him to, to SEMA. We should have them um, right here. Right up in there. Which is nice, right? You just pop them kind of anywhere. Yep. Does he have any on, on like the body or anything, on the frame? He probably does. I wouldn't know where they were at. It's probably got him hidden. God must be really in my side. Oh, here it is. Here's one. Oh, yeah, I got it tucked up there. Oh, one right here. This truck is all over Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and just everything. It's got C4 all four, all four lights. Oh, and he's got a sticker on it. Yep, there's a sticker, big sticker right there. Nice. So he's got them all up here in the fender wells right here. That's cool. And you can just see they actually, what's nice about like a truck like this with a C4, is it highlights the beautiful work that right. he's done, right? Because I mean, this there's a lot of work into this truck. I mean, you can look; it, it looks pretty, but you know, there's man hours and man hours and man hours put behind something like this to make it look good. And then he uses a C4 product to highlight it at night when most people can't see it. So yeah, he's. Let's take a look. Oh, he's got one right there. Right there. I think he's running 20. Oh wow. Lights all total, up, around. So that's shining straight at that to highlight. That, and then this one's highlighting back here. You can see them actually in the corners. You can see one back there, okay. over in the middle of the middle of the. Oh, there it is. There's one right yep. there. So that way, it highlights, and you don't have any of the, the blind spots at in the middle. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful build. Is this a Duramax or like? A no, it's the Cummings. Oh, it's a Cummings. Okay. Uh, getting a lot of attention now with that being said how does it feel to have your c4 i mean just your your company's logo right there on the truck it, it's kind of humbling for the most part i mean for a builder to come to me and actually search my company out and say we want to run your rock lights right and, and, and have the passion behind it to to use our company and to be lit up and this is the second year we've worked with, with dalton and uh, he just keeps coming back he we appreciate our, yeah. our good work and we appreciate his sponsorships. It's a beautiful truck. I want to see it uh, lit up at night. Oh, tomorrow, tomorrow night will be a good good time to see it. Uh, Maybe I'll get a thumbnail then. Yeah. I wonder if he's got anything up front. Oh, yep, yeah, he's got one right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that air filter just stuck right here. He gets that cold air. That's awesome. Look at these bars. Yeah. Reinforced drive line. What, what is that for? Well, the, a breather. Oh, for the, the, the differential. That's not. Yeah. <laughs> I think what happened was he had a drive line, but it came in and it was the wrong one or something. Oh, okay. I can't remember. So it'll actually have a drive line right after SEMA. It's always a SEMA crunch trying to get everything done. Exactly. Yeah. 
So this is probably going to be the last truck that we kind of show off with the C4 off-road lighting. C4 off-road lighting. This is a Wheezy built this truck. He's got the cognito lift on it with the specialty forged wheels. I love those wheels. Yes, the those. black. And then if you look too, see it's even got a gray in the inner inserts kind of deal. Yeah. To help oh. match. Just kind of yeah. set it off a little bit. Ooh, I love this. And then he's flush mounted most of the lights all up in okay. the fender wells. Uh, he's actually running 40. 40 of them in the whole entire truck. 40 of them. 40. Of them. I wish I could see this light up. Yeah, he's uh, he kind of went a little a little extreme. Wanted to show D Max Rhino how many lights to really yeah. put on a on a truck. But yeah, very clean truck. It's a I think it's a 17 or 18 with the Alpine. With all this big concrete you know, kit, you can see that the, the gray is also with all the rims. Yeah, you can see he actually flush mounted these ones really flush. Is Rhino's flush on that too? Yes. So yeah, it's a very cool build. I mean, he's got 40 on it, right? So yeah, they're probably hitting all over this one. Oh, uh, let's see. Nice. Luckily, it's got a carpet on there. Yeah. Right here so we can lay yep. down. So look, got one right here. One right here. There's one on, uh, above the drive line over there. Actually, three over by the drive line, way over there. Dang, 40 lights. 40 lights. They are everywhere. It's a, definitely a beautiful build. And the truck runs. Yeah. It's quick. Guys, I have a special What's guest. Up? Whoa. You know these guys? Whoa. Whoa. Who are these guys behind you? I don't know. They look like idiots. <laughs> So, uh, Boost Auto Parts, if you guys are listening, I've got an OBS, we're doing the uh, Duramax mirror conversion, so uh, I could use a couple of mirrors, preferably uh, paintable, uh, with the clear switchback lenses, that'd be perfect. And I just need the uh, switchback marker lights. I need switchback marker lights also, smoked. Yeah. 